can't believe it! I actually beat out Victoria on a hot new book property. Who's the best producer ever? And our first book is delicious. Join us next week for a lively literary discussion. I don't know, but you sure take the prize for Goofiest Dancer. Fine. Don't share my victory. Whatever. TV doesn't promote reading anyway. It just tricks lazy people into believing they've read a book. Not true. <laughs> what do you mean you haven't read the book? What? Some girl gets a ride in a salsa feast? Oh, sounds boring. Dee, it's a live discussion with the author. You have to seem, uh, well, literary. Exactly. That's why I've been busy defining my new look for the book club. What do you say, bookish brown or smart sienna? Dee, don't you care about books at all? Oh, what are you talking about, Parker? I adore books. You know I have a whole library of them at home. <laughs> 3D Sex Pop-Out Manual? The Visual Guide to Sex. Oh, please. Dee, is there anything here with words in it? Okay, Dee, you're right. You're all about books, so here's what I say. Hmm. Yes! That's it! Not bad. Now, read the book. Simon will grill you on themes and story points we'll be discussing. That way, you'll be on top of anything that comes your way. <sighs> Russell, my chair is wobbly. Wobbly gone. Okay, let's get the chair. So, here's the plan. We lower you on stage on a motorcycle while a mariachi band plays. Then, I'm thinking of passing around stuffed chili peppers to the audience during the break. Okay, Sounds so. terrific, but I'd rather ride the bike on stage. Hmm? More authentic. Right! Good point. Yeah, no, I'm all about authenticity. <coughs> uh, you're not supposed to smoke in here. You've read my book. I don't follow rules. I make my own. Oh, right. The thing is, the sprinkler system also makes its own rules. <gasps> so, uh, hey, all this talk about chili peppers is making me hungry. I know a great cantina around the corner I can show you. Two for one margaritas. Oh, Jackie, I wish I could, but I, I have a lunch date. With one of your many lovers, I hope. Oh, no, no, nothing like that. <laughs> Yet. Oh, Parker, there you are. Listen, about our lunch today, no can do. Last minute emergency with a girlfriend, you know. Her cover of Bikini Babe just came out, and apparently, well, they airbrushed her visible rib bones right out of the picture. So she needs comfort. Oh, sure. Um, yeah, no, no problem. Chantal, darling, ça va bien? <laughs> Asshole. North American men and their skinny little prizes. You all right? Huh? Oh, um, yeah, fine. Uh, guess we can do lunch after all. Which is great. We, we have so much to talk about. Exactly. So I was thinking, for an excerpt, we could use something from my last chapter. Hmm? You know, where I, where I give up pinning all my self-esteem on Julio and just focus on living life to the fullest. Best choice ever. And maybe one you should consider yourself. It was clear. There was no man who could make my life complete. That task was up to me. Under the brilliant afternoon sun, Julio grasped my arm firm yet tender. Oh, senorita, I implored you. Stay with me. I can't. There are other roads to travel, villages to conquer, and men to savor like chili peppers in an outdoor market. I'll never forget you, my little jalapeno. And I'll never forget your burrito. Don't remember me. The cat next door is out to get me. All I said was, I like what you've done with your fur. God, women can be so complicated. Hey, I thought you finished that thing. You get more out of it each time. Jackie really reveals the bondage that holds women back from realizing their true selves. 
We had a three-hour lunch today, and she really has me convinced. Of what? That I should stop spending all of my time living for others and start living for myself. Well, what does that mean? Since when do you know how to drive a motorbike? I ride a bicycle. This is even easier because you don't have to pedal. And look, there's even a sidecar for treasured pets. This is going to be great. Mm -mm -mm. Sure, I was going to spend my little nest egg on a dishwasher, but Jackie Cartwright says that's just another symptom of my slavery to the patriarchy. Uh, excuse me. Can you show me some bikes in a mid-price range? Sold out. Ever since some book came out, we've been swamped. Not now, sweetie. Mommy's on a journey of self-discovery. We really should invite one of these women on for the book club. They are a shining example of what we all should be. <sighs> what does the central image of the bike represent to a woman's sense of freedom? How should I know? None of this was on the book jacket. Ugh. Now, which glasses should I go with? Tortoise shell or the bottle cap? Uh, how about the ones that help you read? Dee, really, if I can get through this populist drivel, so can you. Oh, you read the book. Was it any good? Eh, didn't do much for me.